I have good news for international students. And as much as I want to say this is a good news, I am not very sure if it is entirely a good news because it is divided into two. The UK is proposing to increase the numbers of hours the student can work from 20 hours to 30 hours or lift the limitation entirely. This is good because countries like the US, Canada, they do not have limit on the numbers of hours you can work either during school or during holiday. Why this is a very good news because that means students can then come into the country and make more money, you know, work more, make more money. I'm going to say you have to be very, very careful because of the following. Number one, remember you were given that visa because you were coming to study. And although you're working to make more money, even to pay your bills, to pay your school fees, you know, and to sponsor your family and anybody that you have at home or around you, you have to remember that you have to make sure you do very well with your studies. I have just finished a part-time school that I did completely online in December. And I have to tell you, I'm required to study for 20 hours every week. But because I work full-time and as a mom and doing every other thing, especially on social media as well, I can tell you it was very, very tough. Although the school itself is not the most difficult school I've attended, the process entirely, the one year and three month process was the longest and most difficult I've ever had while schooling. I had a child when I was doing my nephrology specialty, my baby was just one week old and I was not half as stressed as I was as I was when I was doing this, my part-time course. Meaning, the UK will not force you to go to school. They will not force you to read your book. They will not force you to attend classes. But there's a way they will make sure that you have to show that you actually read your book. And I know there are some people who has a way they go about passing and all that. But if you're legitimately trying to pass your courses, you have to know that. If you're having to work extra hours than the 20 hours a week, you're going to be more stressed. Remember, you're going to go to school, I don't know how many days in a week, let's say one, two, three days in a week. If it is not allowed that students can work, let's say 30 hours a week, you are now having to work almost three days a week. Plus, the three days you're going to go to classes, to have your lectures, meet up with all your assignments, do all your classwork, your projects, your essays, and everything. And especially if you have family and you have other things you're attending to, before you know it, that may begin to affect your studies. And although I'm not saying this is going to be the case, because you can decide to do that 30 hours or more, or decide not to, it is not compulsory. I'm just saying we have to be very careful, and I will say, you know, in my videos, I try to be as sincere as possible, just so you understand what you're getting yourself into. Because I know the UK, they're trying to cover all the shortage in the, in the system, they're trying to cover all the shortage in all the occupations, you know, especially all the jobs like care, sales, and those other jobs. They're trying to look for people who can fill this space. So each time, they're trying to make new ways in which to bring immigrants to do these things. Now, as a student, if you're having to do these jobs, don't, don't forget that nobody's going to consider the fact that you're a student. They will expect you to be as productive as possible to put all your effort as much as possible into the job. So you're coming home exhausted. At least your first day after a three days, 12 an hour, half hour or 12 hour shift, you're going to be exhausted. Especially if the limitation is actually taken off entirely, meaning you can work even like a full-time staff. Do not allow that to hinder you from passing your exams. Because remember, if you do not pass all your courses, it will affect your ability to get the post-study work visa. And even though the UK is trying to cut down the post-study work visa to six months, we don't know if that will be approved. And if that is approved or not, if you do not pass all your courses, because that was the only reason you were given that visa to come to the UK, it's going to affect you being able to apply for post-study work visa. So you have to remember that your studies is your main priority. The second disadvantage, I'm not trying to discourage you, I'm just trying to analyze what I think. The second disadvantage that I see in this is, if you notice most students right now, they do not pay tax, income tax. And it's just because some of them do not work more than 12,500 pounds a year. 
and there's this grace of if you don't earn more than £12,500 thereabouts in the UK, you're not supposed to be paying tax. And most students will boldly tell you they've not been paying tax because they've been working 20 hours you know, a week during the school period and even though they work more by the time they add all that together they can actually get away with not paying tax throughout the whole year because at the end of the year they've not made more than that tax-free amount but now if you decide to let's say take care for instance and you're working even if it's just 30 hours a week you're and let's say you're getting paid 10 pound per hour you're going to be making over fifteen thousand pound a year and although it is not a lot because you have to sit take off that your tax-free amount before you pay tax on whatever is remaining. But that will mean the more you work, the more tax you have to pay. So if you get carried away with working that much, just like a full staff, you're having to then pay. Sometimes as a staff, I pay over 500, 600, 700 pounds. In fact, there are months when I do extra shifts when I was in the care home, I've paid there was a month I paid over a thousand pounds on tax. So the more you work, the more you have to give back to the system. So at the end of the day, you're not thinking who is losing and who is gaining. The UK will not be able to fill their shortage occupations more with students who are supposed to be focusing on their studies. And although they'll be making more money, the UK is also going to be using them and getting, you know, manpower resources out of them while taking their money in tax as well. So that means you will now have to give back to the system while working more hard to get more money and then to to still study so it's like a vicious circle it's like a circle we're just running in circle the uk has been created in the way whereby you have to pull back into the system the less you work the the richer you are and vice versa the more you work the less money you have you will notice as a student you have you know discount student discount council tax discount but when the uk decide now that you can work as many times as possible once they discover that you're working as many hours as possible then you have to pay more into the system and although this is a good thing because of course you can now be very free to to work as much as you want i've heard about people who were actually affected when they were applying for their indefinite leave to remain because they were doing more than 20 hours a week so that affected them at the long run so that means you don't have to worry about that you don't have that fear of being affected because you're working more of course you have to remember that your dependents your partner can work as much as they want you just have to be careful with you know getting yourself too involved in doing too much work and not having much in return as much as this is a good news if it is approved i hope it is approved just remember that you don't have to do all those hours you can decide to do how many hours you want and it is also very good because it will help you to get more jobs because employers most time they do not want to hire people who will not be able to cover the shortage you know work full-time they like to hear that you're a full-time staff they don't want to hear that you're just coming to work for one and a half day or just one day because it doesn't cover what they really want so if you're able to work more that means employers will be happier to give you more jobs and then when you come you will be able to work more to make more money you just have to look for a balance where you can balance your academic balance your work balance your extracurriculum activity and balance your family and everything if you can do that i'm not discouraging you i'm just explaining so that you can understand what how this can affect you and what to expect when you come into the uk this is a very good move if this is lifted because when you look at it some of us even work full-time with partners we still struggle to pay our bills because those bills are running like <laughs> skyrocketing every day so for you to be able to work more hours that's very good that is good you're going to make more money i've just told you this so that you can know what disadvantage is attached to this because the uk will not give you one pound with without taking at least one penny out of it that is how the system works but at the end of the day it's still better 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 compared to maybe the country that you are compared to whatever you'll be anywhere you are so it is still worth giving a try but it is still a little bit strange because the UK, they're so funny. They complain about one thing and then they create another visa and then they adjust one visa that is already existing to suit themselves. And once they're tired, they start complaining. They want to stop post study work visa, but they want students to work more. Like, who, 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 what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? We are also human. You can't just keep tweaking things and tweaking things. At the end of the day, it is not my father's country. It is their country. It is their rules. We just have to abide by it. I hope this is a good news to you. 
and I hope uh, the UK approve this. I hope it is approved. I hope so. Fingers crossed. And if it is, once it has been approved, I'll come back to let you know. Please remember to press that subscribe button for free. Click on the notification bell. Like, drop a comment. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Instagram, Facebook. I'm very popular on Facebook right now. Uh, and TikTok, Instagram. I do everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Until then, stay safe. Good luck and bye.